How can you get texture packs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2025? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get Bedrock Edition resource packs, which, by the way, I'll use that term interchangeably. Resource packs and texture packs, they're the exact same thing. First things first, you want to download some resource packs. There's a link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our list of the top five resource packs for Bedrock Edition, but this will work for any Bedrock Edition resource pack. When downloading Bedrock Edition resource packs, make sure it's from a trusted source like CurseForge or from the official resource packs website. No less, here we can go down and grab John Smith Legacy. We will also grab Depixel here. Both of these are super popular and updated. So we can come in here to Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.51. If the version's not the exact most recent version that's perfectly okay so just go ahead and download it It will most likely still work here we can go ahead and just click on this big john smith legacy bedrock button if you will and when we do the download will begin you may need to keep or save the file but it's 100 percent safe to do that then we can go ahead and repeat this process for the pixel now one thing that's worth noting is with the pixel click get it for bedrock and then click the pixel bedrock light you will have to join the patreon for the other version we can go ahead and save now but what if you're on mobile? Well, if you're on mobile and you get some sort of a download pop-up, kind of like this one over here, for example, go ahead and just click on the resource pack there. Otherwise, you'll need to use a files app or something like that. If you're on iOS, there's a files app by default to find the resource pack, most likely in your downloads folder within that files app, and click on it. How do we do this on desktop, though? Well, same thing. We need to find the files we downloaded, which are going to be in our downloads folder. Now that we've found these, let's go ahead and move them to our desktop. But before we get them installed, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ says SGH to set your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Bedrock Edition Minecraft server where you can easily play Bedrock with your friends and even set up a Java server that allows Bedrock players to join it with a plugin called geyser it's really really cool and at simple game hosting you can do it all quickly and easily so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to next yz slash sgh and start playing minecraft with your friends the simple way now let's just go ahead and double click on john smith legacy here and then if you're prompted that you want to open this with a specific file or app excuse me go ahead and select minecraft it may just go ahead and open up in minecraft but as we can see it's now opened up and up here at the top it says import started after a few seconds successfully imported John Smith Legacy Bedrock. To activate this, go into Settings, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down to Global Resources. Then go into My Packs, and there it is, John Smith Legacy. Click on it and click Activate. Now when you go into a game, well, it's already reloaded. As you can see, it's taking effect on the main menu even, but when you go in game, it will be active. You can activate resource packs per world though. So how would you do that? Well, you would take your world and then on the left hand side, you have resource packs. Any available resource packs you have will be right here under the owned section and you can activate them in the world. So you can do it that way or install it globally to take effect on everything. With it installed globally, we can just go ahead and jump in to my existing world here. And once we're in game, John Smith Legacy will be active. Now, unfortunately, there won't be any way to change your resource pack once you're in game um, that's just a downside of bedrock edition you have to do it all from the main menu but john smith legacy is now installed what about that other pack we got though depixel well we can go ahead and save and quit here you don't have to close out of bedrock edition to do this but i'm going to since it's a uh, full screen so we're going to go ahead and exit minecraft and then we have depixel here we can double click on it same thing minecraft will open and install up here at the top import started and then after a few seconds depixel light successfully imported now just like with john smith we can come over here to the settings go to global settings on the left hand side my packs and there it is the pixel we can click on it and click activate and now both of these are active however i'm going to go ahead and click on john smith and deactivate it if you had a weapons pack or something like that you can actually install two at one time right now it's not re really going to matter but let's say the pixel only had weapons or tools or something like that in that case it would show those first and then any other textures that weren't in the pixel would be in john smith legacy you can click on the pack and use the arrow here to move it up and down down. The one on top shows first, and then the one under that, and then the one under that. You can do multiple if you need to, but let's go ahead and deactivate John Smith altogether because we want to pixel. As soon as we hit escape, Minecraft reloads again, this time activating to pixel, and as you can see, it's a little different with the text here, but we can go ahead and play, and we will jump in game, and once we're in game, we will quickly be able to see that this is active and working, and you now know how to get resource packs in Bedrock Edition. The pixel doesn't change things too much, but it is now installed, and we are good to go. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will try our best to help you out, but enjoy your new Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Edition resource packs in 2025. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.